So, this is my one of my Orion subwoofers. The box was so heavy I was trying to pull it out by myself and the whole box came falling out and uh, landed on the subs. So, because of that, this piece came undone. It's like, sits on top of the circle part there. <clears throat> and it came loose, so took her apart and used JB Weld. I hope that'll work. About the only thing I could think of, and about the only thing I had, still drying, but. So it was kind of cool, but kind of, you know, not cool, because you just heard a subwoofer, but. And then I was looking at this, and I, I put some silicone on it, but it was cracked there. So I uh, put some silicone. Probably won't hold up too long, but other than that, I mean, everything still works. This thing was just loose, so <laughs> didn't want to play it until that was fixed, of course. Um, and actually, my other subwoofer, I don't even know if it's... I didn't exactly check that one, so could find out something pretty devastating. I might actually have to take it apart and look. And then... Okay. One of my 2500.1s uh, went in to protect and won't come out, so um, I should still have my year manufacturing warranty, so I'm going to take that back. Here's Marlow. Sorry. So, uh, that's an update on my system right now. Went for a three hour drive yesterday, and uh, Well, I actually, uh, I drove to, I drove three hours one way and jammed the whole way, nothing overheated. I also put some fans in. I haven't took a video of that yet. I will probably when I put everything back together, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, and then yesterday when I was driving back, just the subs quit working and I got them strapped, so that makes sense why they both stopped, but. But yeah, that's an update to my system. Thanks for watching.